Hello, my name is Ofe Akune Ebenezer and today too I'm here with another tutorial talking about how to create Qantas S form within WordPress. As I've already promised, all my WordPress tutorial we will write zero code. Thus, we won't write any code in the act of creating a Qantas S form within our WordPress website. Now let's take a look. When you get to any website, for instance www.aconaonline.com, you realize that there is the size structure of which how the top level if i say the top level menu i'm referring to the main navigation here we have an example one which is home product services about us and content us and focus area for this tutorial is the about us page as well as the content us page for every website is having one of these pages or sometimes both when you go to these pages, you realize that they've given opportunity for visitors of the website to provide or to contact the owners of the website through forms. If I say through forms, they've given you fields to enter your name, your email, and as well the message you want to pass across. And when you press send, this message is being carried on to the owner of the website for them to review and give you feedback. So with all this said, let's go into it and learn how to create what forms within WordPress. Forms comes in many varieties. Sometimes we have pop-up forms which shows up on your screen in order to prompt you to perform specific tasks. For example, collection of email uses form. So sometimes you see a form which pops up onto the display of your screen in order to prompt you to do something like a subscription to a newsletter with all this said the major answer for creating forms within wordpress without writing a single line of code is a plugin which is called wp forms when we say wp forms we are referring to a plugin that can help you create forms within wordpress with less hassle less hassle as you don't write any code and you don't really do any of the bootstrapping. Everything is done within the background for you. All you need to do is to use the interface. And they have a very simplified, beautiful, and awesome interface for you to interact with. Without talking much about that, let's get into it and let's have a demo. All right, with that said, I'll head to wordpress.org in order to grab a copy of the WordPress file in order to configure it locally with ZAMP. If you don't know how to configure it locally, you can watch this video shown below in order to access those very details on how to configure WordPress locally. All right, so with all that said, we'll head towards our local host in order to access the website. Upon visiting the website, there is just the normal um, default website you get when you install the WordPress having the 2020 team. So I'll head towards the dashboard. As usual, we type wp-admin in order to go to the dashboard. And I'll type my username and password to log in. All right, so upon logging in, just come to plugins i told you that we'll be using a plugin so we come to plugins and we click on add plugin so this will carry you to the add plugins page and of which we will search for wp forms upon searching wp forms you will get this very logo here wp forms and take note we have what contact forms by what WP Forms drag and drop from Builder for WordPress. That's the plugin that you install. So you click on install now in order to install it. But as it's installing, let's click on more details in order to read more about how this plugin is configured. And for the first line, we are having a very nice note here. It reads, we believe that you shouldn't have to hire a developer to create a WordPress contact form. That's why we built WP Form, a drag and drop WordPress form builder that's easy and hot powerful. So with this very short intro, you get the whole overview of how this very plugin was built. And it can really perform so many styles 
like online form builder, form templates, spam protection, instant form notification, smart form confirmation, power upload, multi page forms, signature forms, user registration, a whole lot. So you can go through in order to uh, take note of some of these things. On the other hand, you can also integrate PayPal payment forms. We have for Stripe, you can also do that. For MailChimp, you can. And others like Get Response Forms, Constant Contact Form, Drape, Active, Zapier, and many others. All right, so with that said, let's go on and activate this very plugin. So you click on Activate. In order to activate the plugin, upon activating the plugin, you will be redirected to a similar page like this, which gives you a great overview. You can go through in order to get the whole overview. You can also read the full guide here, but we will click on create our first form in order to create the form. So, if you click on this very button here, create your first form, you will be redirected to the creation of form page. You can also come to the menu here and click on WP Forms. So, you hover on WP Forms, then you click on Add New Form in order to get to the same page. So, let's do that. Upon clicking on Add New Forms, you will be redirected to this very page, which is the WP Form Builder. And here you have the opportunity to select templates. So as I promised, how easy it is for us to do this, I'll just click on the simple contact us form template in order to create one. So you just click on it and it does the loading, everything and builds up the form for you. So simple as like that, we've been able to generate a form which is for our contact us page. And take note, we have name, email, comments, and also a submit button. This very fields here can be dragged in order to be placed here to be added to the form. And you can also add some of these as recapture in order to help protect the form. We have email, name, checkbox, and many others. But for simplicity's sake, we won't add any of these so upon adding you can also delete or duplicate so when you click on the icon here you will delete and when you click this one you will duplicate it whenever you hover over any of the field you get these very icons here in order to uh, delete or duplicate now i'll click on this in order to delete this very one and upon clicking on delete, you prompt that. Are you sure you want to delete this field? Yeah, we are sure. So I'll click on OK in order to confirm that. Now let's try to edit these very fields here. So if you want to edit a field, upon adding it, you just click on it in order to select it. When you select it, it changes from the add field to the field options. There is where you'll be able to what, edit the field. Now here we have a format here, which is the label. The label refers to the name that appears at the top. So if we edit this one to say name, then take note of that. It just adjusts accordingly. So here they set the name format, the second one, you can also over over this very question mark here in order to get the two tip explaining what that very session do. So we can also change from the first and last name to what a simple name, which gives us a simple strong full bar to enter all the names. That's what I really want. And upon here. The description, you can enter the description of the field that you selected. So here is the full name. So you can just enter, enter your full name in order to give the description of the field that you've selected. All right. The next one is the required field, which indicate that the field that is there is required. 
or you can leave it as not required so that when people are filling the form they can leave it blank all right let's move on there is the advanced option when you click on the advanced option you realize that we have the field size the field size refers to the size of the field so for instance here we have the full name field we have small which will make it very small the medium and what the large the large really spans across the whole page so that's what i wanted for this very full name session and you can also add your placeholder or the default value as well you can also add some css classes in order to style the form as you wish as i promise you that we won't do much of coding we just will stick to the main project and we move on now let's do some little editing for the email too so i click on the email session and the only thing i want it to do is the email confirmation so you need to confirm that the email you entered is the same so you enter the email twice in order to provide some few verification that people are not entering the wrong email also from here you can make it the large one or the small one so i'll choose the large one in order to cover the whole session and upon doing all this you can just click on save in order to save the form and as simple as i promise how do we embed this very form into our page the only button here embed is where the magic happens so upon clicking on embed it asks you where do you want to embed either you want to create a new page or you want to select an existing page we will select an existing page so i click on select an existing page and we are given the opportunity to select the existing page so upon clicking on this very drop down here you have the sample page that's the only page on my website so i'll select that sample page and click on let's go upon doing that it will redirect you to the edit page of the page and gives you the process to go through in order to add it so as simple as this as it states here i'll click on add a block then i'll search for wp form and here is it i'll click on it in order to activate it now i will select the form so i'll click on this one to select the form and i remember the name of our form is contact form id 8 so i'll select that one and voila our form does appear here so in order to verify that our form is working as expected i'll click on update and now let's go back to our home page that is local slash test and i'll click on this very sample page here and when we scroll down you realize that our form is right embedded here now let's give it a try in order to uh, key in some details for test purpose so, so the name akana of her the email is at akanaonline.com and the messages and now we will just submit it upon submitting it you see that we changed the session and it's telling us that things for contacting us will be in touch with you shortly so the message is being sent now let's go back to our dashboard in order to verify that the message is being sent when you come here you realize that you need to upgrade to pro in order to assess this very future all right thank you for watching this very tutorial and you can also subscribe in order for you not to mix any other tutorial i make and if you have any question don't forget to write it within the comment section as well you can follow us on facebook twitter and other social media handles the name is Akono Online. See you next time.